Well, it has been a particularly bad flu season. Influenza and colds come from viruses that are very contagious. One school experiment showed just how easily germs are spread. Oh, this one's tough. <laughs> Dora, <laughs> child reporter Stephanie Stoll is here to show us in today's Einstein mm. Healthcare Science Center report. We're all going to go, oh. No, no, actually, the children are adorable. <laughs> well, they'll be cute. Yes, the kids it's are the germs. The, it's those yes. germs. Uh. You know, there are, in fact, millions of microscopic viruses and bacteria living all around us. And schools are known to be hotbeds for all kinds of germs. Doctors say that's why young children get sick a lot. Well, here is one demonstration that shows how it all happens. Have you cough? A lesson in disease prevention from the experts. <coughs> These four-year-olds have learned about germs. If you sneeze, you need to cover your mouth up. Like this. And how they spread. We put friend. it. Now they're going to see those germs in action. They're going to see how germs spread from just two friends. Friends Juliana and Amari start the demonstration. Rub it all in. And on the back of your hand. They're rubbing on Glow Germ, a harmless lotion visible only under a black light. On my hands and on my fingers. The goal in 30 minutes to see how far the germs travel and how fast when kids do what kids do. I'm going to be the mom. As Juliana and Amari play. Is it okay if I have some coffee? Sure. The Glow Germ starts spreading from toy to kid and from kid to kid. Under a black light, you can see the Glow Germ on knobs on the back of a chair the train set and utensils. The glow germ even showed up on many of the children. You had a lotion too? On their arms and faces. You have some right here, right here. And there were traces of the glow germ even after they washed their hands. That's why we wash our hands all the time. Good advice because real germs aren't this much fun. Now, seeing how quickly germs can be spread among children, doctors say it's easy to understand why the average American student gets between six to ten colds a year. That's in addition to outbreaks of flu and other contagious infections. And those kids from school bring it home to yeah. the adults. Yes. But I love the lesson learned about the coughing and sneezing she, in your elbow. She, yes, you have to cover your mouth. It's and the then she thing. just went. I'm, st I'm still learning. Trying to get used to that. To instead of this. Yeah, yeah. Instead of this, it's, yeah. I'm still. It's a whole new thing. They're four and they've already got it, so they, good job. Yes, exactly. All right, Steph, <laughs> thank you. I think we all